A visitor here will learn of the unbreakable bond shared by all who wear the black and the gold. I was dumbstruck, and I, and I don't think that's a, an, an exaggeration, by the elegance and the grace and the high-mindedness. Michael Keaton and Tom Hanks speaking at the Rally for Peace. They told the crowd that the world has learned just how strong the city of Pittsburgh can be. Hundreds of people gathered in the rain today at Point State Park. John Shumway is live now with a recap of the Pittsburgh Rally for Peace. And John, it's really too bad it rained because I have a feeling there are going to be a lot more people than what we saw there today. Yeah. Uh, without without a doubt, Stacy. Uh, you know, there was probably 500 to 1,000. It probably would have been in the thousands had we had a beautiful sunny day, and, and certainly the venue would have been perfect for that. But those who came told me as they left, they were glad they did, and they left with hope. Not even the rain could dampen the spirit of the midday rally as the Taylor Alderdice Choir led the crowd in the theme from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Tom Hanks, in town portraying Mr. Rogers in a new movie, stood on stage with his arm around Joanne Rogers, his mere presence uplifting. In these past weeks, America and the world has been a visitor to your Iron City. Pittsburgh has shown us what does come next. What good comes when the people of Allegheny and the Monongahela show that they love their neighbors with no exceptions. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for your example, for your inspiration, and for your love of each other. Actor and native son Michael Keaton. When I was in California watching all of this occur, the feeling of helplessness was extraordinary. This one really hurts. John Person. The first responders were honored, and the president of the Jewish Federation gave thanks. On behalf of the Jewish Federation and our entire Jewish community, we thank you for standing with us. In the Jewish community, we often declare we are one. Well, Pittsburgh, we are one. It doesn't matter where you worship. It doesn't matter where you're ancestors came from across the globe. It doesn't matter the pigmentation of your skin or who you love. We know as Pittsburghers that love will conquer hate. And Pittsburgh sports heroes were here as well with a rallying cry. We must become champions of change. October 27th hit home for us. But this hate is happening around our country our world for far too long. Spread love, be kind, take care of each other, do our best, say I love you, say I'm sorry. We can do this, Pittsburgh. We must do this, Pittsburgh. A very impassioned Brett Kiesel. And it was interesting, Joanne Rogers, of course, uh, Fred Rogers' widow, uh, was on stage with Tom Hanks, and she only said one little thing, and it was hugs, not guns. And just an observation, it's pretty obvious that Tom Hanks and Joanne Rogers had become very close during the filming of the movie and his presence here in Pittsburgh. He was very conscious of where she was at all times, had his arm around her a lot, and was shepherding her on and off of the stage. Uh, it was kind of nice to see. Live downtown, John Shumway, KDK TV News.